Hello children, in this video we shall learn how does earth revolves around the sun and what is its correlation for a given year? How does the months happen? How does the seasons happen? So as you can see on the top side, I have shown sun here and around the sun the earth is revolving in this particular orbit, the elliptical orbit. and the earth also keeps rotating around its axis like you can see here our house is here and slowly it rotates in a given day it comes back here and every 24 hours it finishes one rotation so rotation is happening like a ball on its own axis and we are going to show how the revolution happens on the bottom side I've shown this small boy standing in front of the window and is seeing a calendar here on the back side of it and right now we are showing this thing in terms of a northern hemisphere that is the house which is in the northern hemisphere so it's right now January 2013 and it's the winter time and the earth moves it on its orbit in an elliptical path and as you can see as the earth is moving the after 31 days of January the February came in the winter is little bit reducing in northern hemisphere and then earth keeps revolving around its uh, uh, revolving around the Sun in its orbit and at March time the spring time the winter is about to finish everything looks very pleasant in the northern hemisphere in the house which we have shown here in the northern hemisphere the earth keeps revolving around the Sun slowly slowly in this position the April happens the spring is still on and in countries like India exams are about to finish and the summer vacation is going to happen right so it keeps revolving in this kind of orbit around the Sun and the May time comes in the summer time the children love to eat ice cream right it's a hot time frame that keeps revolving around here and here the June time frames happen in the northern hemisphere like this house in the northern hemisphere it's a summer time very hot we wear the goggles we go for swimming the earth keeps revolving and here comes the July time frame in countries like India we get a lot of rains in a very beautiful month and then the earth keeps revolving at this position August happens the rains are still going on the rivers are full with water the earth keeps revolving around the Sun and in this position September happens the autumn time the leaves fell down looks very beautiful colorful leaves and then it keeps moving moving around the Sun on its orbit on its elliptical path and here comes October time frame the autumn is about to finish but the earth keeps revolving around the its orbit like this and the November time comes in it slowly become cold and then earth comes here and it's basically the December time frame the winter time frame depending on the countries there may be snow happening or very low temperature and after December comes the happy new year time January here it's the happy new year time the next year came in 2014 so after 12 months in a given year the earth moved from this position going covering the entire entire orbit and reaches back here right as becomes 12 months or 365 days it completes one full revolution around the Sun and we see the various months and the various seasons make sense children so enjoy this thing and appreciate the beauty of nature bye bye